Here's how to create all camera angles with your consistent character in Nano Banana and turn them into epic AI videos. Nano Banana shines at creating consistent characters from just one image. And with this, you can build a cinematic universe for your story. Soon I'll show you how I turn these images into any camera angle. I'll also share storytelling tips on how different camera angles help tell your story and express its message. But first, let's talk about the best base image to start with. In a medium shot, the face takes up more space, which helps Nano Banana keep your character consistent. However, if you also want the trousers to stay consistent, I recommend a three-quarter shot. And if you want the shoes and the scenery consistent as well, then a full body shot works best. But the downside is you lose some consistency in the face. But I solved this by using the full body image in Nano Banana to create a three-quarter shot. With the prompt, change the camera angle to a medium half body eye level shot of the woman. I generated four images and chose number two as my final image since in that one she looks exactly the same as in the full body image. Then I repeated this process with a three quarter image and for that I used the prompt close up shot of this woman looking in the camera and I chose number four as my final image. With these three images I can create anything I want with my consistent character. To make it easy for you to follow along here's the prompt I used for the full body base image. Now let's create more scenes using these three images. You can use Nano for free on Google's website, but the images come with a watermark. Therefore, I will be using it in OpenArt, a paid platform where you can use all the AI image and video models under one subscription. And in there, you've got to make sure that you're on the image tab and I've selected the Nano Banana model. And now I will drag my image in here and I've added my prompt in here. And the prompt is the woman is fearlessly riding a quad at high speed in the middle of a jungle. Add motion blur effect, cinematic look. You can hit the create button and then your images will turn up here. And now we can look at the images that it created. Then I created two more images and I chose this as the final one. Then for the tunnel scene, I used the prompt, the fearless woman is holding a baseball bat over her shoulder. And for the junkyard scene, I used close-up shot of the woman who is sitting on a pile of junk in a fast junkyard. And for the desert scene, I used close-up shot of the woman is in a bright orange puff jacket, reaching out her hands to the camera in a desert-like environment. And now we're going to use these four images to create insane looking camera angles. I also found a way to create the Dutch angle shot, something no model could do before. So before we start, it's important to mention that Nano Banana doesn't always react to all the keywords, like for example, full body shot. Therefore, in some cases, it's better to describe in detail how you want to frame your image. And here I did that with the prompt, change the angle to a front view medium shot with the whole body facing the camera. And especially change the angle does a lot. And the storytelling tip is that you can use the full body shot to show the character's entire presence and how they fit into the world. With the three quarter shot, we see that asking for a three quarter shot didn't really give us the result we wanted, but saying camera view showing a half body shot of the girl did work. So for the low angle action shot, I used captured from a low angle front view camera shot, dynamic motion on her body. And these keywords helped making the shot like I wanted. And you can see that the dynamic motion keyword gave a nice feeling of motion. And now in open art and the video tab, I can select all the top AI video models to turn this image into a video. If you're new to AI videos, it's as simple as dragging your image in here, adding your prompt in here, then select the duration and the quality mode and then hit create. And then I use the prompt, the camera pulls backwards as the woman runs towards the camera, high speed dynamic movements with three different models. Let's look at the first one. And I'm quite pleased with it. The character stays very consistent, only the jacket morphs a bit. Then VO3. I like the motion, but the woman totally changes. Look, her hair is completely different. And yeah, that's not very good. So then to Hailuo. Bit of slow-mo in the beginning, but also here the woman looks, yeah, she changes. But the dynamics look very good and it looks realistic. But for me, yeah, Kling definitely is the winner here. For the next camera angles, I'm going to use this as the input image. And here we can see that Nano Banana did react very well to the keyword medium shot. And I added enraged expression to give a bit of emotion to the shot. And the storytelling tip is that this shifts the focus from the world to the character, pulling us closer to their story. For the high angle shot, Sometimes just saying high angle shot doesn't work, so it's better to give more description, like change the perspective to a high angle, looking down from above, as if from a top of a tree. And the storytelling tip for the high angle shot is that it gives the audience a godlike view, creating distance or judgment. And then I used the prompt, the camera zooms away while panning to the right, high speed dynamic motion, and we got this result. And I'm absolutely blown away with it. 
It just looks insane. So let's move on to the from behind back shot. And I wanted to create this so we can have a camera movement from front to back using start and end frame tools like from Kling AI for example. And then I used the prompt please rotate the camera and it didn't give me the result that I wanted. We get these kind of images. This does give a sort of a Dutch angle effect. Later in this video I will show you the correct keywords to create the Dutch angle shot. But for now we want the from behind back shot and I use the following prompts to achieve this. You can either use please rotate the camera to show the other side of the quad and the girl or show the other side of the image. And then we got this result. Do make sure that you don't spell the word girls with an S because then all of a sudden girls will come into the shot. And then I got this amazing video. It looks really good, exactly what I was hoping for. But then all of a sudden the camera zooms in. Believe me, I tried dozens of prompts to get the shot right, but this was the best result I got. But we can still use it by cutting the right moment and blending it with another shot. And for the next set of camera angles, I've used this input image. And here we can see that Nano Banana listened well to the close-up shot. And the storytelling tip for this one is that it reveals emotion by focusing on the character's face. With the over the shoulder shot, I used create a shot from her back as she looks at the camera over her shoulder with an angry expression. And the storytelling tip is that this creates tension by showing power, secrecy or conflict. And then I used the prompt fast zoom up to the girl's face showing a very scared and surprised expression. She then turns around and starts running away. And then we got this amazing video. It's a bit blurry in the middle, but I really like the zoom in. Also the running is not perfect, but yeah, a nice shot. And in the next shot, I asked Nano Banana for a dialogue over the shoulder shot. And then I got these four results. And now you gotta understand that if your shot doesn't work like the way you want it, you gotta be more detailed and then Nano Banana will understand it. So I used over the shoulder perspective, blurred shoulder and head of one person in the foreground, camera focusing on the girl's face, and then I got this result. This is the perfect over the shoulder shot. For the storytelling tip, obvious it's perfect for a dialogue, but it also builds connection and tension between two characters. And then I used a VO3 to make a video out of this. You picked the wrong night to cross me. And for the next set of camera angle shots, I'm using this as the base image. So for the side profile shot, I prompted side profile shot of the woman looking at the sky in a pondering expression. And the storytelling tip is, it can create mystery by hiding part of the character, or it can also create anticipation by leaving open space in the direction they're looking into. For the aerial shot, I used change the angle to an aerial shot. The woman is looking towards the camera as she leans on her elbows. And in all the testing I did, I figured out that the word change is important to mention for getting more complex angles. And then I used the prompt camera zooms away from the woman to get this shot. And I am quite happy with it. The face does morph a bit here. And this is something we see often with aerial shots or zoom out shots because there's just not enough pixel data to properly show the face. You can also create an extreme high angle shot with Nano Banana by prompting drone shot from above looking down on the vast junkyard. And a storytelling tip is that this reveals scale and isolation, showing how small a character is in its world. And for the next set of camera angles, I used this as the base image. And for the extreme low angle shot, I prompted change the angle to an extreme low angle shot. The woman looks enraged, fast sky on top of the picture. And this vast sky, this makes sure that the camera goes down even more. And for the storytelling tip, the low angle shot makes the character look powerful, dominant or intimidating by placing the viewer beneath them. And for the extreme high angle shot, I used change the angle to an extreme high angle shot. The woman is looking up at the camera with her feet on the desert ground. And this desert ground, that makes sure that the camera goes up again. And in the Ultimate Prompt Toolkit, we have written 30 pages with these kind of camera prompting techniques. It also includes over 1000 plus visual keywords all in one place. With the discount code DM45, it's currently available for $15. Now back to the extreme high angle shot. The storytelling tip for this is that a high angle shot makes the character look smaller, weaker or more vulnerable by placing the viewer above them. With the extreme close-up shot, I prompted extreme close-up shot of the woman with focus on her eyes. And focus on the eyes makes that the camera goes even closer to the person. The storytelling tip is that it exposes raw emotion and makes the moment feel intense or uncomfortable. With the extreme wide shot, we see that Nano Banana listened very well to the extreme wide shot keyword. The storytelling tip is that an extreme wide shot sets the location and tone, but when the camera zooms out, 
It can also make the character look small or lonely in a big world. So for the camera prompt I used the camera zooms out and then tilts up into a drone shot above the woman and that gives us this result. And I'm quite happy with it, it's a bit too fast but it definitely tilts up and it definitely gives this lonely feeling. So for the next set of camera angles I used this as the input image. And Nano Banana does not really react well to the keyword off centered shot. So instead be clear about where you want to position your subject. So I prompted place the woman on the right side of the frame. And this gave me the shot I was looking for. The keyword touch angle might not give the most dramatic angle in every situation. So if it doesn't work in your shot, use keywords like off kilter cinematic angle for more dramatic results or even add rotate to the camera. The storytelling tip is that this creates unease or tension by making the world feel off balance. And with this same technique, I also created this image. And for the video prompt, I used the woman's sword towards the camera at high velocity and intense focus in her eyes and blowing hair in the wind. FPV with the camera pulls backwards with high speed, high action, shaky cinematic. And that gave us this result. I really like this shot. Now, if you want to know which AI video model is best for what, then make sure to watch this video.